cute items incoming hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys so anyhow we are going to start off with the letters but the items are so cute i love them i love them all i want them all <laughs> but anyways that's super cute they've sent me this a few times whenever i come back on <laughs> thank you so much so yeah and oh it looks like they're like doing the dance thing I, I don't know what it's called like nico dancer or something i don't know what it's i forgot but anyways yeah where you do like the different moves based on whatever arrows that show up on the screen so that's cool i have no idea what this says f i v f a v f mm, yeah <laughs> anyways oh nice <laughs> and you're very dedicated to sending a letter with a drawing every single week which is so cute i love it <laughs> and these are the items did i tell you that they're cute or what obviously rakas and the fur is coming in super cute adorable <laughs> it's gonna be good to make outfit with outfits with a lot of people don't like it because it's not as flashy as the other outfits but personally i mean like i don't mind like they're better to make outfits with these like these ones but anyways the price tag though i they should have lowered it a bit though because the flashier ones should have a higher practice price tag, but they're making everything more expensive these days, which is sad. But anyhow, we already knew about all of these. Okay, and we didn't really know this one was guest. This was also shown. This one, no one picked this one out. I don't know, and they had a silhouette made, and I thought it was kind of going to be like a rose, a heart rose kind of thing. But anyways, I think these are all adorable. Look at the badge, it's so cute. I can show you a bigger, better picture. And this one, the gradients make this one amazing as well. Look at this, this is a bigger badge. Is that cute or what? I love it. It's so cute. Anyways, these are, it's a teddy bear fur. Wow, okay, there's a lot of people in for that one. The badge is there, the heart earmuffs. I don't know the earmuffs, I've never really used any earmuffs. Honestly speaking, they kind of seem to like crowd everything up or they don't just fit right with the other items. But anyways, ponytail hairstyle. The gradient on this one is amazing. A love key tail item. Alright, so that's cool too. And I believe those are the four items. Thankfully, they don't have a lot of items. I'm glad this isn't too pricey, at least the ear item. That is more decently priced. So at least that's going to help out a lot. And now... Okay, this one, so they told me, I forgot who, I forgot who, someone told me that they wanted me to add it, this into the video, but last video I didn't really do that because I was trying to get it out fast. But anyhow, basically they, last week they have added a feature, a command click feature, well a control click feature, and if you're on a Mac, a command click also works. Basically, if you have a lot of stuff on the side, you can command click on any one of them and the whole thing goes away. So immediately after I did that, so I tested it out. Okay, this video is from exactly right when it after it was released, basically. So yeah, take a look at it. Alright, time to show the control click for Max. It is command click, by the way. So Remit actually sent me this letter thing, so I do not know if it shall work, but... See, if I do control click, nothing happens because my, my Mac is set up because it doesn't have a right click, so I have to do control click to right click. If I do command click, it removes everything, even the letter. So be careful if you do get a letter. Best to open letter first and then do command click. But yeah, that's how it looks like. As you can see, everything gets clicked away. So basically, even the letter itself gets clicked away, right? But we don't really want that because we won't know who it was sent from or anything if you do that. But anyways, you can also use shift click to do the same now. So after I did it in suggestions, like right away they changed it up and they said that they'll let the letters stay there and just take away all the inventory stuff, which is a lot better. And I had a complaint once again about the... Every time you send over a CC for cheese coins, like I had sent it with a screenshot, so maybe after that they listened, or it was a coincidence, I don't know. But anyways... If you send over cheese coins now, because they used to go over the inventory limit, mm, <laughs> okay, yeah, so they would go over the inventory limit and you just lose out on all those cheese coins, right? Now what they did is that it'll get added to your account. Let me go back. Okay, so here, added Valentine's theme map. It will start tomorrow. So, all right, now it's gonna have more heartsy, pink, reds related stuff, I guess. 
fixed a bug where players can keep their trees on their back between rooms. Oh, that took a while. I didn't know that was still bugging. I thought it was already fixed. So here's what I was talking about. Cheeses received with letters are added to the shop if they exceed the inventory limit up to 200 per day. So I'm guessing the rest will be lost if you already use up your 200 and someone sends it to you and you have full inventory on top of that. Honestly, I wish, isn't there a way for them to just be like, no and not allow the letter to be sent? They should just like not send the letter and have the message be inventory full. Like that's a lot simpler, a lot easier, and a lot better to do personally speaking. So it's not just for cheese coins, it's also the other inventory stuff. If it gets full, mm, anyways, that's just my thought. I hope they can do something about that. That would be much better. Everyone would love it a lot more. Um, nothing much in chats. It's cute. Uh, okay, yeah, for event. So apparently there's this badge. It's really tiny, but even when I try to make it bigger, it's still remaining this tiny. That's going to be the new badge for the event. I think the event should come out maybe in a week or so. It's like third, right? Maybe, yeah, and maybe in a week. This week is the third, plus seven, so it'll be the tenth. Not sure, but they did. There is talk about a Lua event coming out for a long event this time. Um, I really wish it wouldn't be like the time between events. There is no more Lua event farming because every time you make a room, it's going to take 40 to 45 minutes for the events to come there, just like any of the other normal rooms. So that's going to be annoying. So yeah, give me a few days to get the video out at least because it's going to take a lot longer. Like five times as long. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, it's like three times as long. But still, don't have that time to do it in a day. It's going to take a few days for me to actually even do the event, I guess, when I get time. <laughs> but yeah. So as it was mentioned over here, how is that? That's not reduced. That's a normal time that it takes 40 to 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, cries. But anyways, yeah, apparently there's event is going to be longer and supposedly we're going to start yelling at Bolo for the event. So I'm guessing there's going to be something very annoying to do in this one. But I mean, the Chinese one was also kind of that way in the sense, I mean, you had to re re repetitively do the exact same thing. So it was annoying in that sense for that event, but let's see what they have in store for us this time. But that's nice that at least there is something new or something different going on. So that's cool. So they're not going to be overlapping events anymore. That's what they said something. I forgot where. Yeah, we're not overlapping events anymore. So okay, cool. I think they mean the Lua events. They're not going to overlap Lua ones. Regular ones are probably still going to go on. As you can see, Blooming Bloons are still going to stay till February 10th. So I guess right after that, this one might start. Just saying. So if you haven't finished it up yet, be sure to finish it up within a week because this ends in one week. Exactly. So just letting you know about that. And I think we should go on to the items now. Because I mean, obviously, why not? <laughs> and of course, I already mentioned getting the tycoon title. Not many people have it, so I'm going to probably flex it. <laughs> and yes, let's right get right on into the video. Well, I mean, we have been in this video for quite a while, but I mean the items now. So as you can see, the price is decent. But, I mean, it looks cute though. I mean, I can totally see these two go well together actually. The bubblegum mouth out of this because they're both, both the same color, I guess. But still, that's pretty cute actually. And the pricing is decent, honestly, compared to a lot of their other stuff. So it's not too crazy anymore. But the hair is a bit pricey, but I think it's worth it this time because of the gradienting. Tail, they always make tail items too pricey, so eh. This is what I'm saying. The fur does is not worth this much. I'm not talking about the fur is amazing. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about in the terms of the complexity of the fur. Because if you see other furs, they have a lot more stuff going on, apparently, in addition to just a normal sized rat kind. So in that sense, what are they going to price those then? If they're going to price this at so high. Honestly, this is an amazing fur. I like this one over the complex furs, though. Complex is not always good, although that's what people seem to be conditioned to believe these days. So I love this because it's it's not too complex. So it's like you can make a lot of outfits on top of it. This is kind of like, it reminds me of like the Molly fur in the sense that the color is like the light brownish. So you can have a lot of different colors that go with this. And it's like, it's obviously totally like Valentine's theme. That's a given. But that's so cute. They had a tag up here or on the base. But super cute. Love it. <laughs> I love all these items, honestly. Ah, 
I've already talked about these, and these I have to show you the different customizations because they were not available before. And then I'll talk about these as well. So, oh, tail, yes, I love it. <laughs> okay, so for the customization, small box and big box should be the same, but here are all the different customizations that can be done on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess 10 is their limit. I'm counting that every time, I know. That's a cute little nose we got here. Of course, how to make crazy colors. So there's this one, then we have the, ooh, okay. So that's the outside of the eye. So it's like the eyeliner thing plus that. Ooh, okay. Then we have the whole eyes. Okay, they gradient, so it's white. If you do black, oh, that looks really cute too though. If you have this, you can change. So the inside is kind of darker than the outside. Let's look at all the different colors and how it looks like. So bright red. So the orange to yellow to green to blue. Okay, if you have a lighter gradiented color, that will make the color changes a bit more noticeable between the two inner and outer circles. But anyhow, okay, let's just, what if we have like a brown? So cute! Okay, and then we have, oh, the upper part of the paws are a different color. Okay, well then. Okay, so this will be the lower part of the paws. This should be darker in color than the top part, but we are going to make it wacky. Then we have the inside of the ears. That's going to be a different color. And then we have the, okay, all the stripes are one color, <laughs> which makes sense. So that's nice. Ooh, okay, let's go with that. And then I want a lighter color for this one too, though. What color have we not done? I feel like we've done a lot of different colors. Okay, that looks weird as well. I don't know what would actually work for this. <laughs> Everything looks so weird. I haven't used too much. Okay, let's use change up this color to be. Um, what have we not done? I feel like everything is already like done. Okay, we'll make that darker in color. This upper part of the paws. Sure, we shall do. Okay, now we have this part of it, which, boom, <laughs> nope, not doing that, not doing that, it's too cute to actually do much wrong with this one, and this is like the other, this is like the major color factor, ooh, that's interesting, <laughs> as you can see, these are all your different colors, a lot of different options, I'm not going to do anything for the big one, just look at it to confirm that it is going to be the same. Yeah, it has all the similar colors. Everything's going to be the same, basically. Well, we could do it with like black and white. White. Black. Ooh, the red can stay there. <laughs> black. Grayish eyes. Red. <laughs> sure, you can keep like all the others the same color. Anyways, that is that. <laughs> Sounds interesting. This one I'd probably just go with black, honestly. But there you go. Then I don't see... Okay, no planks. There's no bamboo plank or anything, all right. Do we have anything for the ball? Nope. The trampoline? Nope. Anvil? Nope. Cannonball? I don't think so. And then we have a balloon though, right? Yep, we have this balloon. So for customizing this, let's make you bigger. Oh, they have a lot of different colors. Okay, you have one for like the overall balloon itself. Me, of course, I'm going to... If you have dark, you can have like a dark colored aura. Oh, what is this outer aura then? Is that what this is? Ah, okay, that's what this is. Okay, what if I did this be bright? <laughs> that does not match at all. Let's go with like a, I don't even know, weird color. Okay, okay, this is for each different set. It's not very bright. I mean, there's a very, there's a dark tone to it, kind of, or is it just me making it that way? No, there's a dark tone to it. Look at how neon green this is, and I think this aura is actually covering it up a bit, which makes it a little darker toned. Then you have this at the bottom, and we have all these different ones too. This one, okay, this one's going to be neon because it's outside of this aura, but this one and that one's going to have a darker tone to it. 
and then we have that color which will be and then we have the tassel white no <laughs> how to go with the red kind of okay yeah never mind anyways that's that so do we have any cartouche things nope i don't think anything should show up here all right okay so for the outfits um i feel like they've basically taken it off of my outfit <laughs> They've made my outfit and turned it into two different outfits, basically. So for this one, um, because I made my outfit like half a month ago or over half a month ago, like as you can see mine, see profile. So they use this ear and this hand item in the male outfit and they use the, in the tail as well. Okay, the fur is obviously used, but they use like the hair, the fur, the eye contacts and this. And instead of this one, they have the hand item. Usually in Fashion Squad outfits, they don't really have a lot of items on top. They keep it on the simpler side. Usually I, pre I prefer that for like the outfit making thing, but when we had to play in game or something, I had more stuff because your rats are so small. You won't see a lot of stuff unless you put more on. But either ways, yeah, so as you can see, it kind of looks similar, no? I mean, of course, they did the color of the hair closer to the stripes of that. But, I mean, it's closer. So yeah, the hair, they use the same hair. It's like brown and red as well. Here it's also like the brown, well, darker blackish brown and red. Tail is also brighter. But anyways, that fur is in shop. And this is in shop. This, if you don't have the hair yet, you can totally go for this outfit. Because the hair is really cute. This is in shop as well. See the same context in shop. And if you didn't happen to grab this before, you can grab this now. So if you want this outfit, it would be for the hair or the hand item. And this one also, this one would be if you want the ear item, the neck item, which is really useful. The hair is always useful. They use this hair quite a bit in general. And then you have the hand item. If you haven't picked up the sparkler yet. Okay, none of these actually, they didn't put on any head items for any of these two. But either way is, um, let's see. If I had to choose between these two, I like the hair of this one a lot. I mean, actually, no, this one, I would probably go with this one more because the hair is super useful. This one is a little less useful compared to this. And the ear item is really cute too. And the neck item is super useful. So if I had to choose between these two and I didn't have any of the items, I'd go for this one. It has more usefully individual items. Overall, as a look, the same person made them both. Disco bots made both these outfits, which is why they kind of match. <laughs> so that's super cute. They're both cute together. Oh, speaking of which, Fashion Squad, the applications are open. So Fashion Squad is open right now. They open their apps right now. So you can go and try to get in. <laughs> so that's open right now for a whole month. So you have a long time. So do it whenever you wish, whenever you have time. But yeah, good luck to those of you who do do it. And we have Valentine's Day sales, it seems like. So we already had the Lua, not Lua event, sorry. I mean, we've already had the... Lunar New Year kind of sales, which are the dragon themed ones, which I already put on my YouTube in the posts. So if you check those, that's where I put them. And after that, now they have these a Valentine's one. All of these are amazing sale items, honestly. But we've we've seen them before. Like we've seen this, this, and this before as well. I don't know if we've seen this. But either way, these are all amazing. As you can see, look at the cheap prices that used to be. Sob. And look at this. It's like the contacts. That's like worth just as much. It's worth more than this. I mean, but see, this is this is the pricing I'm talking about. The current fur is kind of like that. It shouldn't be. Look at look at this pricing. Seven thousand cheese, four fifty. Should be like this one, and it should have been like four hundred cheese. But you know, and this is a cute ball. This one will go perfectly with the not perfectly, but I mean they're both teddy bears, so that's super cute. So they're all really nice items too. So it depends on what you want to use. They're all super useful. Honestly, actually, no, not the contacts. I don't know. A lot of people are going for the contacts, but personally, I never really use them. I would say go for one of these two things first, but they're all really nice though. Overall, I would give it a 10 out of 10 on all the new stuff slash the sales that have come back. They better bring back the pink lion. <laughs> that definitely is for Valentine's. Like for this whole month, we need the pink line back. Plus I want that fur. <laughs> and a lot of people want it too. And we want the angel fur back too. But anyways, <laughs> yeah. All these 10 out of 10 super cute items. I want it all. Let's see which ones I can get. <laughs> and I think that sums... Oh wait, no it does not. Dressing. I need to show you guys. Reset. 
all the different items. Hairstyle. Okay, let's put this on and show the different customization. Oh my gosh, so many. Three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. There are nine different customizations on this. What? I thought there'd be like three maybe. Oh, they did the individual strand thing. Kind of like how they did it for uh, the other hair that I showed you in the shop. This, the one that's on this one, the hair for this one has like six different parts because it has a lower part of the hair separate, this lower part, this lower part separate, and the upper upper parts separate as well, but it's gradiented, so I love that. This is, see this one's gonna be the upper part. This should be the lower part again, yep. So they did a similar scheme, so this should be the, okay, this one's a separate thing as well. What is this one for? Ah, okay, that's nice. I love the gradienting though, it's so, it's amazing. Oh, this one has three parts actually, okay. Then you have your hair tie, and you have the lower little bit. They should have increased the gradienting till up to here actually, like this is a tinier bit of gradienting, but it's still nice. And we have this whole upper part. Like, see, that's that's a bigger part. It's super cute. Let me just show you the it in like big differences. This, um, yeah. I mean, we can probably keep it there. We use like a different color, purple. Totally different color. Okay, you can barely see the purple then. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Nothing. It's nothing. No other color is gonna help that. Hmm. Ooh, that's cool. But anyways, yeah, there, none of the colors are really gonna help it. Mm, yeah, there's it's the green part's way too much compared to the purple. Should have blended it a bit more higher. Honestly, this is a bit too much. Then I'll decrease it so you can see the both of them. This one can stay as is. That is the back part, which is totally different. Uh, okay. That's like its own separate little thing. <laughs> and you have your hair tie, which can be, and we already have our orange, let's go with, oops, it's not what I was trying to do. We can go with that green, all right. This lower bit, okay, we can go with this color and that is like the whole upper part, which is what color haven't we done yet? Feel, I feel like we've done like all the colors of the rainbow. But anyways, yeah, so those are your different colors and the way they are separated. Yeah, a lot of the gradients, I just wish they would do it a little more, make it more even. So this thing should be blended to like right about here. This one should be a little bit to the higher, a little bit here, but maybe it doesn't look that good. So they kept it this way, but that's your hair. That's, it has so much stuff in it. <laughs> and then we have the tail, 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 tail. I shall take off the, okay, first of all, we have the fur as well, right? We have the fur, this, that. And then we have our ear item as well, so I shall go here. Okay, this is done. So that's our fur, I showed you that. Let's look at the tail. I mean, I can keep this on, it still looks cute. Okay, three, that works for me. Three different customizations, that's pretty chill. This one, lighter colors, is what's gonna make it look like a jewel. Like you'll be able to, if you make it darker, it's just gonna look like a plain heart. If you make it lighter, you'll be able to see the different shades. You have the whole key as one, which I like. So that makes it simpler and the way it should be. This is a different kind. Oh, I have like all these different colors here to choose from, right? I should have done that. Okay, I don't even know. <laughs> but anyways, so that's your tail, which is all right too. And then we have this cute earmuffs, which also is in three different colors, so that works. See if you do darker shades, then it, or what if you have brighter shades? Okay, you need like a medium darkish tone to be able to see the different the difference between those two, like the glint, I don't know what to call it, like the lighting, I guess. Then we have this, I'm obviously gonna make it weird colors. <laughs> but anyways, that's also cute, not too many customizations, like it's a perfect amount that it should be. This one has a lot of customizations, but I guess that's cute too. I mean, it's very useful. And a lot of people are obsessed with hairs and stuff, so it works for that. So that's nice, I like it. I like them all. Well, I love them all, not just like, look at how they look all together. <gasps> The hair and the ears, oh my god, they can go so well together. I mean, see, I made the colors awful and mixed up and weird, but I still like them. The items are, they're all amazing. If I had to choose one, it would be really hard, but I guess the hair would be the winner. The ear item is actually pretty cute in this case. The other ones seem too chunky, but not this one. 
So I actually really like this ear item compared to the other ear muffs that we've seen before. The other ones are a bit too chunky for our character and a bit too detailed, so I like the simplicity, yet it's still super cute. I think it just goes well with this hair. Uh, oh yeah, the other dragon one, the hair went away, but the other hair, where is the hairstyle? I was playing around with this hair. You should. I hope you totally got this hair because it looks cute under any head item. You put on any head item, this little curl thing on the side, it, it just makes everything look super cute. Either ways, um, that's pretty much it. If I had to choose one of the earmuffs, this would be the earmuffs I'd go for over all the other ones. This one's cuter and it doesn't really look as cluttered or anything. The tail item is also nice and simple, which is good. Not too big, so it actually works on a lot of things. Furs, obviously you can make a lot of outfits with it and the hair is just, the gradienting makes it amazing too. It's a nice long hair too. I just have everything positive to say about this time around. Nothing negative at all. I love them all. I want them all. <laughs> if you can, you're lucky. But anyways, hope you guys have an amazing day. I think I covered everything I wanted to say. But yeah, I'm going to try and I'm, I'm just obsessed with my city right now still. I'm going to try to get all the badges there. As you can see, I already got the title. But yeah, I shall finish off the badges hopefully today or tomorrow. And then I'll be ready to go for the next Lua event, which is going to take a few days for me to get the video out, which I'm sad about. <laughs> But anyways, hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, you guys. Keep it shop. As always, peace.